How's it going, fellas? This is my ex Christophsaurus, and today we're going to be checking out Asma's Rank 1 Legend Hunter. So, as you guys will probably already see, um, this audio is not going to be linked up to the lips of me. <laughs> I don't know how to. F <laughs> okay, that's terrible. Um, but yeah, the audio is off because. Yeah. I switch mics between games and then when I go to record my mic is disabled and then I gotta re hook it up or I gotta hook it back up to the um whatchamacallit the OBS so um I'm actually not watching the video right now but yeah basically um, these first four games, we're not going to be doing so hot. Um, I guess I'm kind of just going to talk through these. It is going to be 38 minutes, though. So, um, for the first video or whatever, um, our first game, uh, it's pretty clear to me at this point. I'm pretty much just sitting here going, wow, um... Okay, Druid's pretty good, and more towards the middle of this game, um, I'm gonna be like, yo, Druid didn't even do, or didn't even have Innervate, and he still had this crazy of a start, right? So, I'm, I'm gonna kind of just talk about these first couple of games, I guess, in this recording, um, while you guys are watching this. Basically, Priest and Druid are pretty insane right now, right? I think pretty much everyone knows that. Um, and I think I think some of you are probably, which I don't really have a reason necessarily why I haven't been playing Hearthstone. I mean, like, I guess I kind of do have a reason. Um, but especially this last, like, week, it's been more so just because I bought PUBG and the game was pretty fun. And I only have so much time to play games in a day, so I've been playing PUBG a lot. Uh, mainly because like I want to get value, obviously, because I, I spent money on it, right? So you got to get value out of the things that you spend money on. I mean, I think I think people typically do that, like or occasionally do that, like like for example, if you buy a bow, I think a bow is a pretty good example. I mean, that's a little bit more of an extreme example because it's pretty expensive, but typically you want to take your boat out every summer. Or springish summer because if you don't, you kind of just waste like how much, how many grand, like thousands of dollars on you know, <laughs> on a boat when you're not like doing anything with it. But um, so that's kind of the 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 thing that I got like came to with um, PUBG was I was like okay, well I spent like you know thirty bucks on this game, like I should probably play it. And also it's like the top game on um, Twitch. For the most part, it's like pretty damn popular. Popular right now, it has like a million people playing it or something like that, like consistently. I think it said, and it said like, like I was looking up stats for the game a little bit today, or like things about the game. And it said something about like a hundred million people like sold copies or whatever, which is like the most bought game on Steam, which is actually kind of crazy if you think about it, because. There was a lot of other games on Steam that were super popular, but it kind of makes sense because it's like the top game on tw on Twitch. That's probably more of the reason why um, people are buying it so much. Oh, I mean, it's just a fun game in general, right? But um, yeah, so back to Hearthstone. The I guess kind of the reason, like, so that was the main reason why I haven't been playing it as much this this month. But I don't know, like. Hearthstone has kind of gotten to the point where, like, J. Druid is just, it's just way too ridiculous. And if I'm not going to climb ladder with J. Druid, then, like, I kind of don't see a point in playing the game. Like, and I know that there's a lot of good decks that can beat J. Druid, but the thing is, is, like, you don't always really want to play, like, I don't know, like, let's say... For example, like, the Geist Control Mage. Like, you don't want to be always just playing that deck, because at some point you're going to not really want to, like, think as much, and, like, I just... And, but, like, I don't really want to play a deck all the time that doesn't require as much thinking, and I think that Jade Druid doesn't really require that much thought. 
And I think it's important to have good decks that don't that aren't as thought provoking. But I think that the ones that are more thought provoking should be rewarded a bit. Which I, I which to not I'm not saying that they're not because like I think the like dogs version I think does he have geist I can't remember but like if you have like a geist mill fatigue druid or whatever and ha and any of the geist in there I think that that is definitely a like a uh, thought provoking deck and it should be rewarded um but you do have to play it well but it shouldn't like be like the best deck though either like it shouldn't just be so overwhelmingly strong the best like thought provoking decks because then it's like unfair to like the whole meta you know and then also like then that would definitely make the game unfun but it's kind of also unfun if you have like a bunch of brain dead like j druids on ladder all the time too and like j druid is probably the best deck like it's just it's just the most consistent in general but it's also like i feel like it's one of the least um thought provoking decks so these games again kind of reminded me i i don't know if that's necessarily just because i mean hunter can't be that weak right if asmo got rank one legend with it but let's say let's say the problem is hunter um then the, it's i mean it's still frustrating it's not as frustrating if the problem is hunter and that there's like a lot of other good decks but it's more frustrating, I guess, that you have to just make the whole meta based around Jade Druid for the most part, or like Jade Druid and Kazakus Priest, which I think Kazakus Priest, well, Kazakus Priest is like its own thing, but I think that a lot of people play Kazakus Priest to beat um, Jade Druid. So, but Kazakus Priest also is like its own thing. That's a problem, like, in general, too, because of the whole Raza, like, Anduin shooting you for two damage or getting to shoot anything for two da or or two damage for zero mana like Okay, I played a card two damage. I played a card two damage. I played a card two damage. Nice. This is like I don't know. Yeah, both those decks. I think are just like Really big problem. Um big big priest. I guess is kind of a problem, but not really I think J Druid is probably just still way too strong because like as you guys have probably already seen by now like I said I, I'm not actually watching the video but um, J Druid is still really strong even without Innervate at all so <laughs> I'm not really sure how spreading plague and like reduced like reduced innervate is really gonna affect J druid like i don't really think it's gonna affect it that much the only re reason why i see like these changes really working is like for i guess i guess it's more for like countering um well like it's good against nourish too right like if you i don't know coin blossom right and then innervate nourish that's pretty it's pretty insane too but it's more for like flappy bird right like flappy bird and aggro druid is just ridiculous like if they turn one flappy bird like against like most classes like you probably just lose like let's say you're playing kazakus priest and they turn one flappy bird you and you're like okay i don't have pain in my hand but i have shadow visions maybe i can get it and then you shadow visions turn two and then you're like okay well he already hit me, but now it's a, let's say it's a 6-3 a because he hit you. And then you're like, okay, well, I guess I could find death. And even if you get death, he's still hitting you for at least another 6 next turn. And then he gets whirlwind, he hits you for 12. <laughs> and you're down to like, how much HP? I don't know. <laughs> That's if he doesn't even have buffs and stuff, right? Like, you're already down to like 12 HP or something like that, right? Yeah. You're like down to 12 HP if he gets Whirlwind, and then you finally death it, but then he has other stuff buffed on board, and then he buffs more, and yeah, basically, I, I think the main reason why they did that Innervate change was because of Flappy Bird, in my opinion, but it also applies to other things like Nourish, right, and like crazy, like, I don't know, turn one Fandral, like with Coin, right, like what are you going to do against that, and then, and then you, let's say you have like, I don't know, wrath or something or 
you have wild growth and you innervate nourish the turn after and then it's just insane but i think that the change is good i just don't really see it being like i see it being like it basically that in the spreading plague nerf makes like i want to say it makes murloc shaman or murloc um paladin better but against jadrud but it's like it's really not that big of a deal like it's reducing by one but spreading plague like if you get wild growth like let's say they idle wild growth blossom nourish like i don't know it's like four turns and maybe by then you have kind of crazy so maybe like they have to wrath or something and then they like wrath and like second wild growth and then they let's see that's that'd be on turn four yeah so then they would still spreading plague like that falling turn but they still need like swipe and stuff i don't know like Relic Paladin is going to be better, but Jadrood is still just super strong in general. But then it's like, okay, let, let's say Merlock Paladin beats Jadrood like 60% of the time, which it probably doesn't. But let's say they do beat it 60% of the time. There's still like MC tech and other things like that. But then it's also like, well, do you have to play Kazakus Priest all the time and Merlock Paladin just to climb ladder because you'll probably see a lot of Jade or like some kind of control mage? It's like... I don't know. It just seems really, like, I just really hate that everything has to be built around Jade Druid because it's just so, like, the Jade Idols is just so crazy and to fatigue. But, like, I think that there are a lot of optimal lists, and I'm, and I'm not saying that Jade Druid is unbeatable. Like, I don't want to seem like I'm completely complaining about it just because it is a strong deck. But, I, I don't know, I just don't really, I guess... That's, like, kind of the reason why, like, I also haven't really been playing Hearthstone as much, but it's not, like, the main reason. It's just, like I said, it's just that I've been playing more PUBG and I only have so much time, especially, like, today. I gotta work again tomorrow, so right now it's 4 o'clock. I got about another 4 or 5 hours before I gotta go to bed again. So it's, like, if I'm gonna play a game for 4 hours, you know, like, and I'm playing, like, and I wanna play PUBG because I just got it, you know, <laughs> and it's, like, the new game and all that. And I spent 30 bucks on it, so I'm trying to get my money's worth. Even though I've spent a lot more on Hearthstone, so I should probably just keep playing Hearthstone. It, for, but that's not the only reason why, though, right? That I'm playing PUBG. Because it's also, like... I just think that Hearthstone, for me... Like, I'm not going to force myself to play a game. Like, because I think that you guys will see, too. If I'm not having fun with Hearthstone, like the videos and the stream they're not going to be fun to watch and and i'm not saying that i'm also i guess like another point is like i'm not saying that i'm like the best hearthstone at all like i'm not even, like hearthstone player at all like i'm not even close to that but i feel like i already have just like played enough of the game especially now with like jay druid in the meta like i'm kind of getting to the point where it's like okay like, I'll, I'll probably still try to make a video, I mean, I probably should be on my videos a little bit more than I am, and I'll probably try to stream, like, one of these days that I have off or something like that, like, I'll try to stream a lot of Hearthstone, but at the same time, I'm kind of, like, waiting for Jade, Jade Idol to be cycled out of the meta, to be honest, like, which is, I think it gets cycled out, is it next expansion or the following, I'm not exactly sure, but if it's next expansion, that's kind of cool. And I'm hoping that there's, like, a new expansion, right? I mean, there will be one probably around, like, BlizzCon time. Or, like, after BlizzCon. Like, right after BlizzCon. So that'd be kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, like... Jade... I don't know, man. Like, Jade is just... Not really fun... In general. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, like, thinking about it too much. Like, maybe I should just, like, rock the... Murloc Paladin and just like crush everyone's face, you know? The Murloc Paladin's pretty damn good, but then you also have the War Leader getting nerfed. So now, like, mid range Paladin's gonna be a little bit more um, relevant because of that War Leader change. Because basically, a quality Consecrate, like, is terrible against Murloc Paladin, right? Because the War Leader. Because they never have one HP. 
it just like like that alone pretty much just makes like I don't know control paladin pretty bad for the most part but you can still do like a lot of other things with it too and I think we're like or I think control paladin would be fine to play I just think that it's like way too low of a tier deck but yeah I just I wish that because I mean like you guys saw pretty much the the only classes that we saw really were like priest and druid that were doing insane things right and then we beat a rogue that's because like I mean not that rogue is bad but like against hunter it's obviously bad and probably shaman and then we played against two shaman decks and the one we lost against because token is so broke back too dude <laughs> but against like I don't really know he's playing token shaman but yeah against our hunter deck though Token Shaman is gonna just like kill you anyways. Cause Token Shaman like bloodlust is pretty crazy, but I think for the most part like J Drew can probably deal with it because you got the Drakes. Like Drake is another card. There's just like so many powerful cards that can go into J Druid that are gonna make it like destroyed. But yeah. I'm wondering if you guys are seeing the second druid. If you guys see the third game, which is against the second druid, like, it's pretty insane. There was nothing that we could have done. I was complaining a lot about that. So hopefully that's coming up soon. Yeah, so I'm assuming you guys already saw that second game, but that, that's kind of more the reason why, like, I'm ranting. And also, we got we got high rolled by the big priest. <laughs> I like how he got the um, the barns, like coin barns, into um, statues. Pretty much like GG. Yeah, you're not gonna, not really gonna, probably not really gonna win that one. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, and then, I, like, J. Druid is already super strong, but then it's like, then they do that, like, crap with Fandral, which, which, like I was saying earlier, it probably is the fact that I was playing Hunter against the J. Druid, I don't, I don't know, like, it, it's just, it's kind of hard for me to, like, really measure, like, I wish that I would see, like, Asmo, because obviously Asmo is just like a way better player than I am, right? But I feel like the play the against that the second J Drew, there was literally nothing we could have done. Like he just had the he just had the nuts, right? Like I don't know, maybe like, and I think I said later on in the video, like maybe I mulliganed wrong. But I felt like my keeps were pretty good for the most part. Like, I, I don't really know what you really do against, like, the Fandral with Wrath and then into freaking, like, Nourish after Fandral. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I saw, like, or I heard someone's, like, a streamer one time. I don't know if it's Raynad or something, but basically if they Fandral Nourish you, you, like, lose the game. It might have been Asmo, but yeah. If they, basically if they do that, you probably just... Or GG, like the game's probably just over, <laughs> which is sad. Like, and they get ramp off of it too, you know? It's pretty crazy. Poor 
five and eleven thirty. It's writing my times down for uh, work. Yeah, it's really it's always frustrating. I, mean, I really I really need to like double triple check like when people um. Or when I'm like starting to stream, like I've always said that, like I've said that so many times before, but like I keep not doing it right. Just like, damn it, dude. Yeah, because now, now you guys don't really get like as good a quality um, audio as well. Especially since for some reason I... I thought I could have... I could have swore I was able to watch this before. While I did the audio. Maybe I just started it wrong or something. Oh, you know what? It's because I started it from the, the audio from the end of the video. That's probably why it's not going through and watching the video. Crap. It was bad, man. I done fudged up, bro. I done fudged. So, you know, you know, there's the the thing is too about this deck, in my opinion, because I think I played a deck similar to this like last month or the month before. At least in my experience and what I saw, like. I'm not saying that this deck is bad, but, like, the Stitch Tracker, like, a, a lot of these cards, okay, so there's Tracking, there's Stitch Tracker, um, I'm trying to think of what else is, like, more of a conditional card, uh, like, can the Grandmother is, but, I mean, it's gonna be in every Hunter deck, right? Um, and then I guess, like, the Blood Sail Corsairs, I'm actually kinda, yeah, I think in a lot of our matchups, like, the Blood Sail Corsair... Like, oh, you know what? He probably was seeing a lot of Pirate Warrior when he was playing this deck, too, actually. That makes sense. Yeah, I think this deck is pretty good against Pirate Warrior. That would actually make a lot of sense. That's... okay. That makes more sense. Well, he probably saw a lot of Jadrid, though, too. I don't know. But, yeah. I... I've never really been that big of a fan of like tracking and stitch um, and stitch tracker, um, and the reason why, well, first off, stitch tracker isn't even a beast, so <laughs> that makes me kind of sad, like a sad panda. But like in a lot of these, ma a lot of the matchups, I think that I lost or got completely just blown out, especially against the druid. Like, okay, they had the nuts, right? But also like cards like tracking and stitch tracker, I feel like just they they make you lose tempo, and I'm just kind of ex like speaking from like my experiences with the cards and why I don't necessarily care for them. Like I kind of like just an all around like solid mid range hunter, but even then like hunter, I don't know, man. Like hunter is definitely not the strongest class, which I I just but it's kind of hard for me to say that. Like I've been repeating this so many times in this video, but like Asmo got rank one legend with the deck, right? So it's kind of awkward, but at the same time, though, like, I just don't really think that Hunter is that insane overall. Because if you look at this deck, like, there's a lot of times where you just fall behind. Like, in, like you just lose tempo real bad, like, especially the Sitch Tracker. Like, if Sitch Tracker was a beast, I, it might be okay, but... Yeah, it'd probably be a lot better if it was a beast, because then you can Houndmaster it. Like, like that one game. Like one of the games, I got Houndmaster off Stitch Tracker, or I could have. I, I think I picked the Silence instead, but... Like, I picked I pick the Silence, um, but the Houndmaster would not have worked anyways, because the it's not a beast. This deck also only has one high main, I don't know. Which makes sense, like, I, I feel like he probably played against a lot of Rogue, uh, Jadruid, and, like, Pirate Warrior. Which, I wouldn't be surprised if those are at the, like, higher ranks. 
But yeah, the the different ranks though, it definitely definitely makes a difference on like what you would be playing. But I don't know. I feel like that big priest. I mean, he did get the barns on us turn three, so that was pretty nuts. Like a, a lot of the games that we did lose, like the people got absolute nuts, right? Like they got they got literally they literally got the nuts, dude. So, I mean, that is kind of a point to be made, but. Yeah, I felt pretty bad, though, losing to that um, Kazakus Priest, too. He drew a lot of cards. It's pretty crazy. Like, I think he was ahead of us by, like, what, 10 cards at least, or something like that. And he didn't even draw his Novice Engineer because he stole it from his deck. But I will say I am kind of curious to see. Like I haven't really been paying attention to Hearthstone last week because of PUBG, to be honest. I should probably watch a couple of um, Hearthstone streams just to kind of see more where the game is at right now. You know, like I was watching a little bit of Rain out earlier, but he wasn't really playing Hearthstone. He is now, which by the way, I want to talk about Twitch. These ads are pretty damn annoying. <laughs> like there's ads over the chat that you have to like close or else you can't see. You can see like half the chat. <laughs> there's already not like that many lines for the chat, right? I mean, it's, it's good. Like the number that they have right now, but it's crazy. And then they put like this five hour energy shit on there. What the hell, that commercial was so... Oh my god. That was so terrible. And then they got this whole... Twitch Prime thing. Honestly, like, I'm probably not even going to be a part of... Like, it, if it was, like, just a part of it without having Twitch Prime, which... I guess that wouldn't really make sense that they would do that, but if it was, I would just be like, no, I would just be on Dog's team, honestly. Even though I'm watching Raynad right now, and I, and I'm subbed to Raynad and I'm subbed to Dog, but the uh, Team Light, I'm pretty damn sure is gonna, or Team Dark or Void, whatever. Team Void is probably gonna win because there's Dog and Tice. And then you also have Jackie Chan, and all of them play a lot. Like, maybe Tice won't be playing as much, or Dog, because they might be in tournaments. It's like, I think Reyna is not in tournaments, right? And I don't think Ali is either, and neither is Crip. So, the only way that they would, like, win is if it's because they're not, like, playing a lot or whatever, but... Because they have to do tournaments and stuff. Like, to get points. But I don't really think that there's that much more that needs to happen. Or that much more points right now that need to be gained uh, but like I said I haven't really been paying attention like honestly I've just been like hella busy with like work and stuff but yeah <laughs> dude nice the innkeeper smorking rain out what the hell don't get ass dude What if this AI has Mind Blast? Hello.
Yeah, I kind of feel like at least at lower ranks, you probably need to play something a little bit more aggressive than this deck. Um, the reason why I, probably, I say that's probably true is because we... The only decks that we beat were a rogue, which I think Hunter should almost... Like, you, you're, pretty, you're pretty favored against... Um, Rogue typically as a hunter because your hero power is pretty damn saying they don't have heal but um the other deck that we beat too was an aggro shaman in standard in 2016 ellie jiggle so and you guys will get to that point at the end i think there's still like another i don't know what like six minutes or something of the video but, um, yeah, like, it's kind of sad, to be honest, <laughs> but, what the hell is this? This is old rain, Ed. Dude, do it feels bad, man. We miss you, old Rain Ed. We miss you. He used to be so happy. He feels bad. <laughs> Pedo bear, man. Young prodigy. Said <laughs> a young savage. It's all funny. Yeah, you know, I'll probably play some PUBG tonight too. Well, we'll see. Kind of getting hungry too. Yeah, I don't really know if there's anything else that I really want to say. Um, just I don't know. I guess I guess Hearthstone has become kind of stale for me. But I I guess I also just want it like. I don't know, usually, before I was like, like, season 40 when I hit Legend, and then season 41 I didn't hit Legend, but I still played a lot. Like, I wasn't really working as much first off. Um, like, I was still working a fair amount, but not a lot. That's like one reason why too. But also, like, I've been playing a lot of Hearthstone before, like... And typically, I will just, like, play other games, even in my free time, when I'm not streaming. Like, I would just play Overwatch a lot, too. So, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily a variety streamer, because I do, I well, I was mostly playing Hearthstone. But at the same time, though, too, like, I do like to switch it up. Like, I get kind of bored easily in general. So, just doing the same thing, even if the game is still, like, fun... Eventually, I'm just going to be like, okay, well, I'm just doing the same thing, so I should just, like, switch to something else. I don't know. Like, eventually, I'm just going to... Like, even with, uh, even with PUBG, eventually, I'm going to want to do something else, right? Like, I'm not going to play PUBG, sh like, straight for, you know, a year or something like that and not ever switch to something else. It's not how it goes, man. At least for me, anyways. It's just not how how I do it. But I probably should be making at least like one video a day, though, for my Hearthstone, just to kind of keep up on that. Cause I'm kind of losing track of like what's going on in the meta, especially like when you don't play for a week. That's a pretty big deal. So. But, I think we got another, like, three minutes here. So, yeah, I guess we can talk about the changes a little bit. Um, I think I already did kind of talk about the changes in one of my other videos. Or maybe I talked about it on my PUBG stream or whatever. But, yeah. 
let's just say Innervate, I think it's a, going in the good direction um, with that change. Uh, Raynad also agrees. <laughs> Uh, spreading Plague as a 6 mana, I don't think it's going to be that much of a big deal for Druid, but I think it probably is a change that needs to, be, needs to happen. I just don't think it's going to be that impactful. Um, Murloc Warleader I think was a good change as well, because the card is still pretty strong, giving Murlocs plus 2 plus 2 if you think about it. Um, it's just not going to be like super insane now especially with um finja like when it gets pulled off of finja it's pretty damn insane uh, fiery war axe i was kind of upset about but i kind of got why because like pirate warrior is kind of insane with fiery war axe into like two upgrades but I, but in my opinion they should have changed the pirates instead of the fiery war axe because now it just makes like there's not even really any control warrior right now but now just like absolutely makes it to where there won't ever be control warrior to a certain extent i think no it's not like i don't think that like absolutely but because like i think control warrior can still pretty much do the same thing that i was doing before because it has a lot of removal but now now it's more like okay now warrior is forced to kind of wait longer for their aoe's because they don't have the early axe you know uh, I'm trying to think what that. Oh yeah, hex. I, I think I already said that. That was just kind of a confusing change overall. To be honest, like I was for the most part pretty confused about that. Um, do I think it's necessarily wrong entirely? No, but I don't see. I mean, unless if they're doing something with the next expansion with shaman to where. It would make it insane then i guess but like overall i think um that was the most puzzling nerf uh, i feel like i'm missing one more card but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here uh thank you guys so much for stopping by and putting up with my audio failures and uh there will be like probably a little bit of awkwardness at the end of this video with no audio but anyways Really support, really, uh, really appreciate you guys' support, like always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay chill, peace out.